I watched this show and I'm like, I'm glad I never got in a, in a kitchen job. Dude, he went right back to it. What? He just had to take a shot to Garvey for no reason. Yeah, we are your broccoli chunk. Yo, we're here for the bear. I know you're looking at me, it's because I don't know how to recap that, 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 that episode of chaos, which was anxiety inducing. It was, um, we left off on, uh, we're gonna rebel. We're not doing spaghetti. We're, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're not doing spaghetti. Cause he threw away the tomato sauce. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a lot of like emotions and we don't know like the full backstory, but stuff happened. People were in charge, people, so, certain people died. And then, um, yeah, here we are. Now he's in charge. <laughs> And he's, he's trying to make the best out of it, but no one's really helping him. Oh, he's trying to improve on, on I, what was it? Well, was maybe it improve. systems? Uh, Something about the system. Something Don't change the system. That's systems. what they kept saying. Was Don't it? change yeah. the system. Is what he's trying saying. to improve on systems and everybody's resistance to, resistant to his change. Wasn't there like a picture of like a, a dope restaurant, like a, like a draft, like a, like a, like a, like an architectural work of, of a dope? Restaurant? Oh, I don't, I don't remember that. Okay. But maybe. I have it in my memory. The only reason I say that is because he wants to improve it. So I, I kind of feel like he has a dream and this is going, he's going to do it here. Hmm. But uh, not everyone has his vision yet. And it seems like he is, uh, what's that word? He has more, no, mm, he has more, he has a different experience than everyone else. He's overqualified. He's very, 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 very qualified. That's where I'm going with it. He's very qualified. And because he's so qualified, the people that are in this kitchen with him really can't fathom his ideas of what he's talking about because of his education, right? That's almost like he has They're also culinary older. education. There's no young, yeah. Continue, hmm? sorry, sorry. No, that's okay. He has culinary education they probably don't have and therefore they can't connect with what he's saying. Except for that other girl in the kitchen too that could be in the F CIA. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, I think it has to do with age too because a lot of them are like much older. I feel like, you know, no offense to older people, but like, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a common thing. Like they don't want to learn new things, you uh -huh. know? Like if it's a younger group of people, they're probably more tuned to like do it. But like, I don't know, the older folk, they're quite a, you know, they'd rather you do it for them or something. Like my parents with the phone and stuff, they, 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 they'd rather not learn. They're just like, you can do it, right? Okay, you do it. And it's like, okay. And then you have to learn how to do it. Cause I don't know how to do it either, but okay, fine, I'll learn. You know? In my age, I've learned that not old. people in general are resistant to change. You guys aren't old. Good we are old. He said in our age, right? Yeah, I'm in your age range. We are we are we are <laughs> together, this guys. This whole thing is funny. <laughs> we are this not old. Funny. We are not old. Uh, I do happen to think that it's the it's the people side that is resistant to change. All right, I'm starting a reaction. <laughs> It is oh. right as heck. Table 23, four people. Fire 31, 25, two out on 31, chef. Wait on 31, chef. I know this guy. He's hilarious. Community. That's the show. Why? It was my fault. Fire 19, chef. Too much for you. Answer me. I can handle it, chef. 12, 10. 36, Fire, eight, 13, Sorry, eight, 52, God dang it. I get it, you're a short man's complex. You can barely reach with this. Is this really time. happening? This way off the tattoos, and you can go faster, motherfucker. Keep going faster. Why are you so slow? Why are you so fucking slow? That's not a real person. You fucking yes, chef. I'm so tough. Yes, chef. I'm so tough. You are not tough. You are bullshit. You, are, you should be dead. That's not real. No, but he sent a woman out, so that person is a real person. Dance. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can never. I watched this show and I'm like, I'm glad I never got in a, in a kitchen job. Oh my gosh. No one's helping out. Are they smashing in the background? It sounds like it is. Yeah, it, but I, just, I don't think so. It's about consistency and being consistent. You can't operate at a higher level without consistency. 
like this stuff. true, I but like why the toothbrush? Yeah, well, teach you to operate at a level you don't even know you could operate at, Marcus. I went to West Florence Avenue and learned every level. Oh, yeah. you're talking about DeBron? Yeah, exactly. Oh, DeBron, we're serious about success. Oh, okay. I know them schools. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of different than what I was talking about in the intro. And eat bugs. And be inspired. Oh, God, and be lame. <laughs> and be lame? That was his response? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be lame. He's against fighter education as far as I'm concerned. Uh, he sounds like he would hate on Harvard. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, of course he didn't graduate. Does anyone ever order His first result was shooting uh, in the sky at people, so I, uh, I'm just gonna say, never mind. I'm just not surprised. Hey, he didn't graduate? Is that what he said at the end? He said he didn't even graduate that school. What did you learn? He told us time that data management. If he didn't graduate, did he really learn anything? Yeah, I, Mark Zuckerberg didn't graduate. That's true. <laughs> Mark is always my go-to, but he's a he's a unicorn. But, but, but what he became Mark Zuckerberg and he became what's yeah. his name again? Sorry, Uncle Uncle? Not Mark Zuckerberg because we don't know his <laughs> name. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg had skills he didn't need to graduate. Like this yeah, no one this could guy teach can him. shoot a gun. <laughs> He can shoot the air. Jeez, he's really, I just realized he's on the floor. It's crazy how his world was and everyone was just on it. And then when he got to the present, he's just by himself. Basically. <laughs> Systems. It was high pressure. It was so pressure, I didn't believe it was real. But you know what? For him to not react when that guy was telling him like to die and stuff, and then be in this situation. It makes sense why he's like, he's doing all this, you know? Yeah. He's the only one capable of like, Damn. handling people being so crappy to him. <laughs> Did just he just have he just a PBJ home? and some chips? Ain't you a chef? Like, he must be tired though. The dough should rest for at least 30 minutes. He's gonna fall asleep. But the smoke, smoke is on still. You killed Michael? Is that what I just read? What? Your place on fire because you dropped your cigarette. Wait! Is he sleep cooking? Is this I thought real? He was still in a nightmare. Wait, wait. He actually burned up. No? I thought he was having a nightmare and in real life he dropped a cigarette, but now you I think you're actually right. He was, he was cooking in his sleep. He can wow. literally do this in his sleep. But Wild. He, but he was yeah. burning it, so he can't do it in I his sleep. I think I saw a bag of like garbage. It looked or... like cartons of stuff. Yeah. Like it's still boxes. impressive. Honestly, even if he's burnt down his place. Yo, that carton was gonna be delicious. Is that a nope? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for this past week. What a place to work at. Oh my god. Uh, but I want to do more. Uh, this thick man cheeks, bro. Oh my god. And I want to get paid. Not to mention, you're spending money on pretty high end stuff. Farmers market produce. It's, it's these savings, 20% of that could cover my yearly salary. Oh. That's not accounting for other people's, you know? Support system organization. Trying to figure out packaging. Packaging, right. On page 27. She has it all figured out for you, fam. No, I think I think. Uh, yeah, she's good help. Yeah, she, I think she is. You need her. Mm -hmm. That's a tour. Chicago Board of Health. I'm here to inspect the property. Yes, I am Conversato. He's the owner's brother. I'm not dead. My brother's dead. I'm very sorry. Why do you have to make that distinction? I think he's not recognizing him as owner now. It's an interesting. Logo on the bridge. Need anything? <laughs> I can't stand him, bro. Okay. He's so annoying. Where's Tina Eva? No funny business, Miss Short. You too. <laughs> I also want to. I like him. Uh, that but he's a lot to deal with. Why can't it only be Marcus? Sweeps, Tina, and Eva don't drive. Uh, Marcus, you know what? But what about Richie? Suspended license. What? I saw him driving this morning. I'm telling you. Beware of bitches in Google books. But I, I hear you, okay? I have every intention of turning this into an efficient, respectable place of business run by adults. <laughs> I like you to oh, say that. Yeah. Shit. Eventually. Eventually. Poor girl. She's like, I want it done today. I 
don't even know if he's not listening to her. He seemed kind of reasonable. What's ringing in the damn background? This whole this whole show is chaos. It's a phone, right? They're just ignoring it. Potential cross contaminant. Additionally, no hot water in the hands to guard. Just gotta wait a minute and for it to warm up it. so you can relax on that one. They haven't delivered the big one yet. There's a big one? What, what, what is the big one? Someone left a pack of cigarettes on the stove top near the burners. Motherfucker, you can say that again. Motherfucker! Don't actually say it again, you fucking idiot! You're about to get the power washed! Yeah, unfortunately. These violations leave Shut down. Oh my gosh. No, oh. No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. Oh shit. I can cough. Let me fucking cough. There's no cough in house, dude. Shut the fuck up, Vic. <laughs> He's so passionate. I can cough. <laughs> Why are they using the word cough? And they're all saying it wrong. His seat. You're gonna get some cock, and you're gonna cock that shit. Okay, well, uh, FYI, you cocked it up, you're gonna cock it out. Okay, well, I would love to, but uh, my license is expired. You drove here. You want to help? You can take it. No. Time out, all over. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wait, what's wrong with Cindy? This whole thing was escalation. Take your mic off. Just a license? Oh. That rope that took him out? We know. You have to display this on your window? Yeah. If it was an A, would you have to do that? Yeah. Okay, okay. You do it for all of them. But some restaurants try to hide it. I see. I never usually, really noticed these. Things. Yeah, they'll be somewhere, but they, they have gotta to be. They got to fix the cock in the balls. <laughs> I didn't catch that. That's a good one. Bullshit. Dang. What's up, cousin? Why are you so angry all the time? I wasn't expecting company, by the way. These Arby's cups are from different visits. <laughs> what? It's not like he just won order of Arby's. Oh, so his car is dirty as hell? It's dirty. Like five Arby's cups? Who even shops at, who even goes to Arby's? Aww. Uh, I mean, the food is busting if you see a C though. What? Oh, the dirty ones are always the best food. I can't believe I'm taking orders off. You know, I was a baby two months, Sydney. Nobody give a fuck. Okay, um, I'm sorry about that, but none of that. Wait, why am I going to work at the restaurant? Because he's a little bitch, probably. Probably. Doesn't even know the reason. Can I ask? Thank like, you. What, what was, like, the deal with Michael? Uh, he shot himself in the head four months ago. Remember the, the, the one of the, the, the guy was telling him to kill yourself? Did he say something like that? I think he did, yeah. Mom mm -hmm. said... Yeah, he was my best friend. Boom! Y'all ain't even related? I, I thought he was really the cousin. He's self inserted family. Sometimes family is who you choose. No. He has it. I got this. This freaking guy. We can't guess. That's why we're in this situation in the first place, man. <laughs> who stuffed it with napkins is the question. Is that really a question? Your operating business historically has a lower success rate than, I don't know, Chicago fucking bears. Oh. You got hard time keeping your freaking name to lose money and let your brother. What that got to do with me? Right? Cash and pugets for this place. And term loans, which you never pay back. If you don't have proof, I'm not paying you. Now I got to hold you responsible. No, you don't. Are you? 300 grand. Wow. Jesus Christ, Jimmy. Jesus Christ is right, Carl. Looks like some kid painted with his ass. Look, speaking of asses, hmm? him and Michael are similar. Mm. I don't owe you this guy 300k, bro. I feel like this dude must be connected. It has to be a threat. I don't consider it a franchise, a place where you knew that was bullshit. I love them too. Oh, never mind. But you're responsible? Can you sell it to me? Mm. No. No, you I'll get you the money, Jimmy. I never would have said that. You're crazy, bro. I had to promise you. 
No, I wouldn't have promised that. Yeah, he's I trying got... to keep the dream alive. I respect it, but damn, I'm not. I don't owe you 300. The person owes you 300k. Is... Okay. Well, like whether you like it or not, he's incredibly talented. Thank and you. We could all learn a lot from him. You know, he's oh, one of yes. Food and Wine's best new chefs. I mean, he's 20. I'm glad to hear oh her God. motivation. He was one of Food and Wine's best new chefs. He doesn't chefs? care. Is that what you just told me? That changes everything. Okay, you know what, Sin? You're getting a little aggressive, and I think maybe you should just pause. <laughs> Take a breath before you start driving. Man or woman, I'm not discriminating. It's dangerous to get behind the wheel when you're hysterical. What? Oh, what? Oh. Hey, why did he call He needs a mirror, bro. I uh, love this guy. What'd you say? I hope they don't let him have food with those fingers. Yeah, I'm looking Is at his fingernails too. He's hey, married. Can I just talk to her, please? Wow, look how, look how he's calm on this one. So this is, I mean, okay. Hey, sweetie. What's wrong? I can't wait till he ends the phone call. Uh, what, what are you scared about? Yeah. I get it. And if you don't, I'm gonna give you five hundred dollars. But you're gonna do great. Of course, I still love you. I love you so so much. I love you more and more every day. We see you possible. Friday. I... No. I don't need to talk to nobody. They're not together. But he keeps but, the uh, ring on. I want to say recently. Call me after. You know, let me know how it went. Yeah. I'm so proud of you, kiddo. I see why you're angry. The duality of man. Yep. Uh, how, how old is she? Uh, she's five. Like Carmi. Who the one's best in the dickhead. Dude, he went right back to it. What? He just had to take a shot to Carmi for no reason. The <laughs> <laughs> same age. He's so what? toxic. Oh my God, what's going with this dude? He knows. It's him. Oh. I'm sorry, uh, about Michael. Man, I got the wrong call, man. <laughs> I knew it. This guy needed help. Why did we get a person? You did. So I bought some too? No, nah, she's the best. She's <sighs> so freaking capable. Look at this power team. Good job, Sid. Good Crazy, job. man. A good job. Was that all once for the password? Do I even catch that? Sister Rose here. Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh, she can cook nice too. In the window. Yeah, she could do nice. that. Listen, sugar. Cooking a bunch of rats, frozen shit, and almost in my apartment on fire. That's what it was. Does that happen a lot? Sometimes. It's not even the first time. Did you look at the thing? The thing. No, I didn't look at the thing. The thing. Yeah, of course, Pete would go. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Not you, sweetie. Nah, I see why he don't like Pete. Why is Pete what thinking is that she's talking to him? She had to remind him you weren't even talking, dude. <laughs> 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 Pete From the so other dumb. room, bro. <laughs> it's funny that he even heard that. Wake up screaming. What? I don't know. But God. Okay, I just sent it to you again. I was throwing up every day before work. Okay, well, that sounds chill. That sounds chill. Okay, well, you can't really do that if you're not taking care of yourself then. Yeah. It's okay to ask for help. He needs help. I understand. This is going to be a mental yeah. health uh, aspect to the show then, I think. Sorry. <laughs> what? Oh my god. To Carmi. Oh, from, from Mikey. It's in Mikey. What are you gonna do, bro? He's not gonna read it. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. He really tried to. Huh. Why? Interesting. Okay, okay! Wow! Uh, he's my favorite character in the show. Hey, let's fire one more sausage pepper to one more down. Oh man, she's great. Do you want me to uh, come in tomorrow? Please, if you're hired. Yeah? Yeah? Yes. You're past chef. Aww. Uh, I like please. her, man. I got root for her. She's, she proved how capable she was this episode. Sense of urgency. Thank you. Jeez. 
What happened? No. It was just cigarettes? Oh. Oh. It was yours. It was yours. Well then. Yeah. Guess where it is, Carmi C. <laughs> I did not expect that. Yeah, he's going. He's going. He's used to being perfect in a scenario like this. It's something like that? Jeez. So I want to tell you guys the reason why I liked that this man left the letter, like right back in the same spot. Because in my opinion, it's not like I like the action. I just like the creation of this character. So he does not truly want to help Carmi yet, right? And he kind of sabotages things. And we actually found in this episode, he actually wasn't the person who sabotages it, but he can't, he does not accept him wholly. And he was going through something with Sydney. And I feel like this should be like the beginning of accepting Carmi, especially as Sydney was articulating. And he's in a situation where he doesn't want to help Carmi. Okay, he's not ready to help. He's not ready to move forward yet. So I view him putting the letter as like, I I'm not all the way there. And he's trying to hold on to something with Michael and there's something that needs to uh, uh, be communicated and it's not. Carmi's kind of stuck, not Carmi, uh, I forgot how to, I don't know this other guy's name, but this angry one, he's just kind of stuck standing still, not really making progress one way or the other. And that's kind of how I view it. Because it's interesting that he put it right back in the same spot. Like, why would you do that? It's not my business and just moving on. Anyways, I think that's interesting. But if he had read it, I would not have liked it because that would have been a violation of this other person's privacy. You know, it's like, you're just going to violate his rights? But for him, just like, you know what? I didn't even see this. I just think that's interesting to whatever his story, however his character is being built. I don't even think it's good or bad. I just think it's very interesting to put it back. You got to think about how almost petty that is to find the letter, put it on the desk and be like, I can't help this dude or whatever his, his rationale is and then put it back. That's a lot of effort. It would actually been more, it would have made more sense to read the letter than to just put it back in the same spot. It just makes him an interesting character. And I really like him. He's just, he's just all over the place. He's emotional. Uh, he has a sensitive place going on at home. You said like the duality of man, like what he's wrestling with. And again, even something like that letter was, was a wrestle. He couldn't just leave the letter. Like he's always fighting. He's just interested. He couldn't just pass the letter to Carmi. He had to even fight with that. He's really fighting with his nature. He was very, very, very sweet on the phone as he's talking to his daughter, as you would expect. But he was so hostile right before he entered the phone call. And then to, I was, I was waiting for the phone call to end. I was like, I wonder how he's going to be right after the phone call. And then slowly you get the, the Carmi insult. I was like, okay, there he is back. He's just an interesting guy. That's it. What do you guys have to say? Anything that stood out to you? Uh, I just, like, I was getting on, I was getting on him because about the whole change thing. And, you know, I think, in the in the where not the warehouse the the parts store wherever they went yeah um you know it's new it, four months and everybody here is still dealing with grief and you know it sounds like the staff feels like against the change but you know i almost feel like him coming in just changing things like yo you trying to erase michael type thing or you just trying to overwrite everything here but we also hear from the other side yo michael michael is not running it well he borrowed 300K and y'all still look like y'all in the shit pass through bills. It's just like, it's like, yeah, I understand y'all you know, dealing with grief. Y'all still think about Michael and all that, but like things just aren't going well and everybody's just dealing with their grief differently, it seems. It looked like he was willing Actually, to follow Michael into bad. However, it was going whatever. to, no matter what. They, no they all were, yeah. I, I, I'm also interested in that 300K thing because the way he had said it, he said he gave it to him and nothing changed. So it makes me think like, what did you even do with the money? And they didn't really say anything, but he was, you know, off himself. So I assume he was into certain things probably and he wasn't in the right headspace. They said he started turning into an animal or something. So I assume like, you know, I think we're gonna get back stories on him, like flashbacks or something and it's not gonna be pretty. Well, thanks for listening to us. We posted stuff early on our Patreon. We got exclusives that never see a light of day on YouTube. Until next time, Rock D. Lee. Hitter Global Nerd. Nerd Nasty. Out. And you know I couldn't stop at just one channel. Consider subscribing to the subsidiary channels for your boy Rock Lee found in the description of this video. Thank you.